welcome to this video. My name is Christine and today we're talking all about how I like to store my breast milk. I started pumping shortly after I started breastfeeding. You know, people decide to pump for a number of different reasons, whether it's to maintain or increase your milk supply, or just to build up a little bit of storage in case you're going away or if you're going back to work. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the storage options that I like. When I was making the decisions of what to buy and how to store, I did do a lot of research. I tried to be as sustainable as possible. In the end, we're not perfect here, but I'm a lot happier with this set of storage options than just having gone out and bought the plastic bags that are single use and just super readily available. Because freezer space is pretty limited in my kitchen, I did end up buying an extra little mini freezer, um, which is just there on the counter. Uh, I just feel like it's really nice to have a dedicated area for storing your milk because this ends up up taking up a lot of space. When I first started pumping, I was only really making one or two ounces per session. So this was the one that I use. It's four ounces, it's a glass jar, it's really good. Um, even though I'm not pumping anymore and storing my breast milk anymore, I still find this size is super useful to have around, whether it's you know a dip for us or baby food storage for Willa. It is a really nice convenient size to have on hand. This one ended up being my go-to in the end just because it lined up really nicely with the amount of milk I was producing. Uh, this one is a 12 ounce glass jar and again you know even though I'm not using it for breast milk anymore it is convenient in many different ways. I put chicken stock in it, uh, soups, pickles, kimchi, whatever you know good times. I did end up buying um, a set of these. They're the zip top silicone storage bags. These ones are six ounces, so it gives me that sort of variety when I was choosing what amount I wanted to take out of the freezer, which is nice. Um, the only thing about them is that the tops are not super secure, so you just have to be careful about that. But other than that, I did really enjoy using these. Ah, and I think Will is waking up from her nap, so I will be right back. Oh. <laughs> did we just wake up? A little groggy. Should we make your bottle? <laughs> we have had our bottle, we are ready to go and play. So there's just a couple more things I want to say here uh, very quickly. The first thing is our labeling system. Just for putting the date on all our different things here, um, I like to use these labels. They are really great because they're reusable. So you can just um, use this marker or any marker and it erases and you can reuse it. So that's really great. Oh. Alrighty, so we've had a little bit of a snack here, so we <laughs> clapping and maybe a dirty mouth. Uh, but there is just one last thing I wanted to mention. Which ball? We love balls right now. Alrighty. So there was just one last thing I wanted to say before we say goodbye today, which is that when I was doing all my research, I really did want to go for the glass options, but there was just so much information that was telling me not to. I was reading all of these things that were saying that it was breaking and it was breaking and it was breaking. I am really happy that I ended up taking the leap and buying glass storage options because I haven't had any issues and I think the reason for that is because I'm not doing extreme temperature changes. So if I need to defrost some breast milk, I will take it from the freezer and put it in the refrigerator overnight. If I'm in a pinch and I don't have so much time, I'll just make sure when I'm running it underwater, I start with cold water and then I increase the temperature from there to avoid extreme temperature changes. We haven't had any breakages. We're very happy with our storage options. So I really hope that's helpful for you and I hope that this whole video was helpful. So thank you so much for watching. Are we gonna say bye 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 everybody?